Hey there, I'm Brie and I go by Tip of the Moon and I am an energy healer creating a full body point of view session for you today and I have my table all set up in my studio I have some lovely winter sunlight filtering in through the windows and warming the room. And what we're hoping today is to just do a full body kind of check-in and cleanse. And you could use this session to relax, to do a reset to your energy, or perhaps to just wind it down at the end of a day or maybe even in the morning to kind of set you on the right path for your day. Okay. And I'm going to use tools throughout the session, but not really any crystals today, just a little bit of sound cleansing, lots of channeling Reiki, And hopefully it's nice and relaxing for you. So get comfy. Maybe you have a warm drink, some coffee, some tea, and we'll begin. And so first up, I wanted to work with this little singing bowl. This is the one I personally use all the time. It has such a nice light and uplifting sort of sound to it. It feels hopeful. And so just allowing this to resonate with your energy body. Allowing it to resonate with your physical body. The sound wave is a physical wave that our brain translates for us. Allowing it to resonate with your emotional and energetic body. That you can align with this hopeful and bright tone.
Lovely. And continuing with the sort of sound cleanse idea, I'm going to bring in this small rattle. And again, it's the case where small is my favorite. I have a larger rattle, but this one has just been such a delight to work with and has really great energy. Um, so it is a black tourmaline handle here, and there's black tourmaline bits inside, and it's really good for cleansing, grounding, and sort of protecting our energy. So as I bring this in, we're going to be shaking off any excess energy in your body. And we're allowing that to just return to the earth, grounding it out. It's unwanted and can be transmuted. Lovely. So very much a favorite of mine. I use it often. 
And this was made by the Rattle Maker on Etsy and they have wonderful rattles. I have some incense in this little dish and I'm just going to use this feather to cleanse through very gently. Perfect. I'm going to set the smoke to the side and we're just going to work with the feather. So now I'm just working a little bit with this um, feather, continuing to brush away and cleanse your energy, allowing Reiki to channel through as we do this. And it should just feel like soft brushing along the outside of your subtle body or your energetic body. We're not going against the grain or anything, We're just very gently shaking off Pulling away anything unwanted, heavy, stressful. And I'm going to use this feather to do a little scooping of your energy and releasing. So kind of dipping in and lightly, ever so lightly like a feather. Dipping in and then releasing. and release. And just continuing through. Anything that feels too heavy, you 
can relax and let go of anything that feels too stressful. Just allowing it to be scooped and released. Release. Scoop. Release. Scoop. Release. And just slightly brushing down through the whole energy body. Soft little feathery brushes. And lastly, one of my favorite stones to work with is this quartz piece. It's a Lemurian seed crystal, but really just a nice piece of quartz. I'm not sure about the stories that are attached to it, but I have enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, as a wand for energy work, it feels very activating. It feels like it inspires and presents kind of flow of the energy body, so using it now as a way to sort of activate anything that we want more of in our energy. We're trying to attract in good vibes, things like hope and joy, love, kindness, Patience, presence, calm, any of those qualities that you're looking to have more of are sort of magnetizing those places in our body to attract something. We do a lot of releasing. It is important to also declare what we are attracting. What are you calling into your life? What are you calling into your energy? And just take a moment to think about that. And I'll we'll start to draw it in. Find more luck. Find more abundance. Find more time, more gratitude, whatever it is. Name it and allow it to be welcomed in. This is your space. You get to declare what you would like here. Just sending Reiki and power.
power to that attraction, power to your magnetism, power for you to enact your will for at least this portion of the universe, for your space, for your energy. You are allowed to declare what belongs. I'm going to add some Reiki symbols to that. Mostly focusing on the crown and the third eye. These are kind of like our antenna to the universe. We're activating them, sending out a beacon, projecting and connecting to the places and communities that can help support ourselves and what we're looking for. Whenever we are manifesting or attracting, we're not going this road alone. Nobody experiences the world alone, so we're always using it when we're manifesting or thinking about how that works in community and with others. So you make sure that you add that layer to your intention as you're manifesting, that this is a way to connect you deeper to everything around you. Okay. Lovely. Just gonna brush through your aura just a little bit, kind of fluff it up, um, allow you to have some of this beautiful winter sunshine massaged into your body before we go. So just put this aside and just fluffing your outer energy body, infusing it. Sunlight. Beautiful. That feels much better. I hope that this session was helpful for you in sort of reclaiming your energy body, working with your energy intentionally, and it just gave you the space to do that. So thank you so much for showing up for yourselves and I appreciate you all so much. If you enjoyed this session, um, here are some of the ways that you can support my channel and allow me to make more videos like this. You are all so appreciated, so thank you and I will see you in the next one.